Lord left. And one was water baptism. The second one was communion. Amen. And so I'm going to ask Isaac to come up and LJ. They're going to assist me this morning. Can you welcome these gen gentlemen today? Praise the Lord. You can go over there. There you go. So you can put your Bibles down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So why do we take communion? The Lord said, take this as a remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. And the bread signifies his broken body, his broken bruised body for us. The Lord said that he loved us so much that he gave his, that God loved us so much that he gave his one and only son, Jesus, that whoever, you may be visiting us today and you've never heard the message or you have before, but you thought maybe that is not for me. But the Bible says, whoever, whoever believes, whoever places his trust in him, whoever realizes that they're a sinner and that they cannot save themselves and repents, whoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ will not die, will not perish, but have eternal life. Salvation is found only in Jesus. And when we take the communion uh, bread and the cup, we are saying, I am with you. I'm in you, Lord Jesus. I have placed my trust in you, Lord Jesus. If that is you, you're now in the body of Christ. And he invites you to his table to take this communion cup and this bread in remembrance of the Lord, in remembrance of the sacrifice that he made for you and for me. Also, when we take of the cup, Paul reminds the church that we are to examine ourselves. Amen. We're to examine ourselves and see if there's anything in there, anything that's any wicked thing that has creeped up and we need to repent of as the, as the body of Christ. So let's, let's time to do that now. Let's take a few moments. I thank the Lord because he wipes our slate clean because it's through his blood. It was free for us, but it cost him. He cost him a great sacrifice, his life on the cross. And I invite you to receive Jesus today. Invite him into your life. Believe me, it'll be the best thing you will ever do. Inviting the treasure of heaven into your life to walk with you and to be with you every day of your life is the greatest gift any human being could ever receive. It's the greatest act of faith and, and, and the Lord will break break off those chains that the enemy has held you bound in and the Lord will welcome you again into, into his family. Amen. So we're going to prepare to take this cup and I'm going to ask, I think AJ, uh, Isaac, were you going first? Okay, go ahead. He's going to read and then uh, we'll follow up with a word of prayer. Oops. Thank you. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the bread of life. We thank you, Lord, for you pay the sacrifice for us, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your pain, for your brokenness, for the lashings, Lord, for the crown of thorns that you took upon your head. Lord, thank you because none of this stopped you from carrying through your great plan based on your love for each and every one of us. Thank you for your blood. I mean, thank you for your body today, God. Thank you, Lord. We, we take this now in remembrance of this precious, precious sacrifice that you did for us, Lord Jesus. Let us take the, the bread. We do this in remembrance of you, Lord. Now, LJ is going to read the second part of the scripture in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying 
this cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Lord, we thank you for your blood. Every droplet of blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is powerful and washes away our sin. He cleanses us. Isaiah says that he makes us whiter than snow. Thank you, Lord, because without your sacrifice, we would still be in our lost condition. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. But through your blood, God, you ushered in a new covenant in your blood, a new covenant in your Son, Father God. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who willingly shed his precious blood for us on that cross, the nails scarred hands and feet. He did not reject for, you, for love for you and for me. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this sacrifice. As a matter of fact, even this word thank you it doesn't go far enough to express the gratitude that is in our hearts and the praise and the glory and the adoration that you deserve, O oh Lord, for this great gift of your blood. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Let us take the cup. The Apostle Paul reminds us as every time we celebrate the Lord's Supper, the Lord's Communion, we are declaring that Jesus is returning, that Jesus is coming back again. Amen. How many can say, Lord Jesus, I'm waiting for you. Come back, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, boys. Thank you for, for um, coming to minister this morning to the congregation. You may be seated. Glory to God. It was so beautiful this morning to hear the praises, the voices all coming, joining together. Thank you, worship team.